a snow on it. Oh, we're delivering the small pipes, which I had to get from this warehouse down here. I was thinking about crafting them on the other map, honestly. But that would involve moving metal walls, and I figured they'd come this way anyway. There are four wooden planks here, so I may just do two trips with this twin stair. I haven't really decided yet, or I may just stop by there both times when I'm bringing materials, mainly the uh, metal beams from this warehouse. Turn on all wheel drive. Unfortunately, I, I was talking about in the last video about using the P-16, but um, as I was turning around the trailer, I decided to detach it to see if I could get it up. And um, yeah, the P-16 is unavailable right now. And I haven't gone here. The Mac may be able to get this up right, but honestly, I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to bring the Cat 745C, which is all the way over here after delivering a load of logs just to have some weight and power so the, the other plan is to see if the twin steer can rescue the Kenworth because I'm probably just going to have to earn $8,000 and then pay for the recovery of the pieces I don't think I can get it out of there unfortunately and our plan is to come, come this way come here and then hopefully there's a place to cross here to come across or maybe here, who knows. I, it's been a while since I've played this, so I don't exactly remember all the crossing points. This is also kind of serving as a scout run to see if I should even try taking the eight slot here. Well, honestly, this corner is probably death. Oh, it looks like I'm just caught on a rock, but the better idea for the eight slot trailer route, if I do use it, is probably going to be coming here. I think there's a crossing point somewhere in this area. And then driving through here onto this road, coming here, going up here. And then coming down here all the way because there's a way up here that I think I can take and then come across here. I think that's a possible eight slot route. Because if the twin steer is having problems here, well, <laughs> that's probably a sure sign that I should have been bringing the eight slot trailer this way. Also, I don't know if it's too long for that rock, narrow rock section either. Part of me wants to find out, but other part of me has had so many things go wrong already doing this contract that I don't want to take the risk, basically. And I was thinking for the new Jack of All Trades tire DLC, maybe a nice test to go rescue this Don 71 that's gotten itself into a situation, let's just say. <laughs>
this was a bad idea. <laughs> See, can I get it? I, even if I can get it upright, I mean, it doesn't look like it's For the record, I've actually never been down this way. This was totally experimental, and I should have drove a scout vehicle down here, but I thought, oh, this is just going to be a nice winding pass that's big enough for a big truck so you can get here to get these materials. I didn't really think it through. And as you can see, it caused a problem. So... I'll resume recording in a moment once I figure out what I'm going to do. And we're back. I've been just kind of pulling on this because I didn't want to take the time to drive the cat all the way across the map. So I got a little more movement here with this one's point. Then I got something back. So I'm going to see if I can see it. This thing kind of wants to come down the hill. And so I want to try it now and see if I can. Assuming that that's what I'm not a tree. I'm, if this thing can come. thing is acting like it wants to come down the hill. Got another idea. I'm gonna take a running start and see if we can get this thing to finally come down this little lip in where the front tire is catching is the issue. disappointing and anticlimactic. See if a little more speed will help. Oop, that caught some movement. I can just get that tire over the edge of that front top front right tire on the truck. I can just get that over here. I'm also just worried I've tore up the ground too much. But it looks like it's coming. This is, by the way, what happens when you don't have a vehicle that's heavy enough to rescue the vehicle. Now, let's see if that's sufficient enough. If this doesn't work, I'll. I'll cut to something else. I'm not going to spend the whole video. This is just kind of mad as I'm... Hey, I made progress and I thought I'd even want to watch it. This thing just doesn't want to come over. I suppose the other thing I can do is bring the 770G over. That would potentially be heavy enough also. Okay, I'm going to try one thing. A little bit of an orthodox one. I'm going to see if I can roll this over. And if not, we'll cut back when I've got it. Working. Since I'm hoping the area over here isn't as toad tore up as much, so I may get some movement over here. 
since I've kind of turned that into a mud zone that won't reset until after I get both of these vehicles, plus the Acteon I drove by out of here. And so I'm just, I'm trying to find, what am I doing? I may have enough weight to actually push this down the hill. And we want it to be, my truck to be pointed forward, that way I can use low gear to do it. And we should have power. Okay, that's actually working way better. That may actually get it to roll since it's going downhill. Would you look at that? Success. Now, we have this. I'll cut to the part where I get to um, the twin steer. Trying to think if there's any materials on the way I could use. Don't think so. As you can see, we've got a situation. And at this point, I just want to get this contract done, so... The whole point of this is just going to be to get this cargo. To that red Kenworth. Actually, I don't know why I brought this here. It's not like I have a trailer on the back. If I had done that, I could take one of these rolls and put one of these sets of pipes and put the other because unfortunately the Kenworth only has a three slot bed not the four of the fam if this was the fam then I could just load both of these in and that would actually make this job a little easier but oopsie so I honest I guess I will say this one of the uses you can do is put this in, put the stock engine in and this grip makes a great all-terrain stable crane to get to places where you may not want to take a full-size heavy crane so this is definitely one of my recommended uses for the Tega 6436. What? That's annoying. That is totally annoying. Well, I'm just kind of curious. Do I actually have the power to try to upright this? At the very least, I guess I'll be able to pull it out of the way. So that's actually encouraging. I may be able to get this back over. Or that can happen. Doesn't look like I've picked a great place to park the Tega, but just move that. this is oh that's not what I wanted it to do that may allow me to get it over now that way I can put both pieces of cargo now I have found a crossing point unfortunately since I've got 55s on the twin stair I don't know if it'll make it because it looks like the only reason the Kemworth is making it is because it has 69 in tires so I honestly don't know if the crossing point is doable for the twin, twin steer. But we'll see.
guess we can just reload the twin steer. That's good. Sometimes you may not want to take the risk of dangling cargo in the air, but you need to move it. So what you can do is something like this. Although it helps if the cargo is right side up, so... This way, you don't worry about flipping your truck as you move the cargo closer to where you're going to load it. Now when you get to your spot, you just put down your anchors and load your cargo. I guess before we go, we'll take, we'll top off the tape from the Camry, and this will just probably drive back to the Kodiak C70. I have near the warehouse to fuel up again.
And that right there is the advantage of 55s on stock height suspension with UA with OHD dual rears for additional stability. I don't think that would have been possible on 63 inch single rears. That that looked like it wanted to go. And I know this truck has the nickname Flip Steer for a reason. I've flipped it a few times, but I have a feeling I'm able to get away with a lot of stuff because I run stock height suspension OHD dual rears. And so that is something to keep in mind, particularly on a map like this where you do have gradients and things can get really remote, so getting a rescue vehicle out there is not going to be nearly as easy as, say, in Tamir, where there's at least some paths and a road network to take advantage of, so you can afford to take risks and go higher on that map than you would on a remote map like this. The only question is, are these spots of... This is probably where the local line is going to help. But the, the real question here is, is it the rocks are slippery, or it's just the, the tires aren't gripping for some reason on the rocks? Because I, I feel like I'm struggling where I shouldn't be, but it could just be a power issue how heavy the twin series in the back that I don't have the type of engine in. I believe I'm running the stock um, the stock engine actually for maximum fuel economy. I was also worried a little bit as the flood the engine since I didn't have snorkels on the truck either. Which had gotten a low profile snork over the Freightliner 114 SD but not that would look a significantly better looking snorkel for this truck than the big standout ones it has here. Although it wouldn't be as much height, so I guess if you don't care about looks, having them in some options good, but I think it'd be a nice balance between looks and capability, personally. And that's not the only truck I think could benefit from that snorkel design. That's kind of a midway option, a compromise between looks and capability. But I think the BM17 Royal would be another one that could benefit. But anyway, we completed the delivery and delivered the cargo. Happy we made progress. <laughs> Although, as you can see, that's kind of a case study in why I was trying to get everything along that one route using the eight slot trailer because driving across the map can be time consuming and potentially annoying. So, anyway, thanks for watching.